In today's video, we have a gameplay on probably the best defensive player in the game right now, Lawrence Taylor. You guys can see 95 base speed on him. You can power him up as well. He is a gold 99 already, but obviously you can still power up gold 99. So he'll have 99 Excel once you do that. He'll have good, really, really good strength on him at 95 for an outside linebacker. 97 block shed, 99 power move and a 98 finesse move. Very good weight on him. Very good height, as you guys know. Very, very solid for an outside linebacker. But this is where we are trying out some new things over here we do got strip specialists and i've seen people on tiktok actually make some crazy plays where they literally strip the quarterback in the middle of a sack so i don't know i don't know maybe if i can click on and get some crazy plays like that that would be crazy or if it lights up by itself that would be even crazier and we do got edge strat elite that is five total ap with the hopefulness of starting up the unstoppable force x factor during the mid game that would be awesome as well I don't know how I'm going to do with an outside linebacker gameplay. I think I'm going to try to half user and half let him run on kind of blitz plays and see what we could do. I've never done this before, but I feel like Lawrence Taylor is such a big name. I had to get this video out because I know a lot of people are going to have their finger on the trigger for this card. So let's go get in some games. Boys, I recorded the whole thing muted. So this is going to be a post commentary. So basically, I'm going to be talking over. I already know what happens while I'm recording. So yes this really does suck that's why this video is a little bit delayed like i said i recorded with my mic muted very down bad but let's get right into it just to prove that obviously you guys could see i'm recording look at this, this is a whole film right here that we're going over i kind of started off the game terribly i kind of just chucked it up right here and not the best play in the world but i mean hey we'll take it really was just rushing very very bad to get on offense or on defense first obviously i wanted lawrence taylor out here but you'll see we'll go to that double wheel out and hit our wide open kyle pitts brand new card on the team actually we did a full gameplay on that if you want to see that one as well right before this video that card is absolutely amazing and like i said i was in a rush and you'll see it was open for a tad bit but we kind of forced it i just wanted to be on defense that's all i wanted in this gameplay and we kind of just forced a terrible play for us there is though is he isn't spread and i feel like spread is a very hard formation to run especially for somebody who's maybe not the best in it in first play of the game on offense or on defense he literally just chucks it up and we're gonna have a wide open play like that see i try to hit this corner route to start off and i like i said i'm in a rush i'm just playing terribly like that's obviously not open and i give the ball right back so three plays in a row has been three turnovers for both me and my opponent it's been miserable Basically, anything right now is a good stop. You can see Lawrence Taylor chasing down the quarterback. Gets a good hit on him as well. We'll take that every single day. You'll notice a lot of this game, his running back, he has blocking his running back. We're getting a free run at the quarterback with LT, but we're getting chop blocked a lot of this game. But there was a huge, huge play that made LT just go absolutely nuts. And you can see, look at this guy Dickerson going crazy. Moving into the next play, he did end up picking that first down up with our with his Eric Dickerson right there. You'll see right here on this next play, this is a big play right here. We got some solid, solid pressure right there from Chase Young, and I have no clue what he did there. No clue at all. And if you guys see the quality dropping a little bit, like I said, I have no clue other how other else to record this. But this was a good gameplay to show you guys. We almost get to the end zone right there. Devontae Adams ends up chasing us down. We are at that two-yard line. So if we end up scoring here fast, we'll have that LT finally on the field. Here we go. Big play right here. If we punch this one in, it's basically GG's. And look at Colin Johnson wide open. That same route we threw our first interception on is the exact same one we're going to end up scoring on on our third try of offense this game. We'll take that and now we have a seven point lead going back onto that defensive part of the field. Our opponent goes AFK and this is what this is a key part of the game. He goes AFK on the kick return and you'll see what happens this next play. It's actually crazy. Like I said, some big action's gonna happen here. Take a look at Lawrence Taylor shedding the running back and look at, oh, we almost got there. Kind of built you guys up to suspense there. Nothing really happened. Or did it, or did it? Look at Lawrence Taylor again, shedding the running back quickly. And there it is. So something truly did happen. I actually thought it was the first play, but Lawrence Taylor actually getting a safety for us. You guys know that two points and getting the ball back in an offensive Madden is absolutely huge for a team. And I was like, like I said, I've been in a rush whole game, but I kind of cooled down at this point. I wanted just to like get the ball out there as fast as possible so we can get Lawrence Taylor more chances to get some big plays for us. Like I said, it's going to be very hard to get any defensive style plays in an offensive Madden, especially on the D-line user. You can't really make some crazy plays as a D-line user in this game. I don't know. D-line usering already is like a handicap, I believe. Notice we are rushing throughout this whole gameplay real quick. You'll see I could have thrown B right there, but Lamar was too naked to not take. We have another big play right here. Let's see if we can get anything going. And yes, yes, I hate playing like this, but I mean, you got to guard it sooner or later, right? Lamar just getting a wide open 10 yards again. 
right to take a two possession or it's already a two possession lead but like a much bigger two possession lead we're gonna end up chucking that one out nothing really much there to get and goal this is actually one of my favorite plays of the game you'll see backside dig route wide open our guy calvin johnson we got both colin and calvin both of the big giants on the field absolutely dominating so you'll see here i do end up going for a two-point conversion because i want to take 17 point lead as you guys know that would be a three possession game basically marking the game is over so let's see if we end up picking this one up you'll see we're gonna run that exact same play we threw that pick on and we scored a touchdown on and look at Colin Johnson, the other Johnson wide open 17 points. Let's go, man. You'll notice I tried a D line user and I actually have no clue how to do it. I, I, I think D line using unless you can get it literally every time. It's, it's an awful strat. Even if you're getting it every time, you can just scramble away from it. But at the end of the day, we had to try it out. And as you'll notice, not much success at all. Try it again right here. I also don't think I have any user rushing moves, so you'll see we get caught up in a double team. Basically, after this play, we kind of just went back to normal defense. So he's been moving down the field quite nicely on us. This is a good thing, though. If you guys take a look, and also this is an awful play by him, just literally chucking it up. Basically, your corner is just broken. I don't know even what to do there. That was just a bad play. But you guys know we do get the ball right here again. He gave us way too much time. This is awful clock management by our opponent. So basically, no matter what, even though he scored, he still lost himself the game. I very feel very confident at this point that this one's over. And he's also going to throw a two-point conversion INT right there. We'll take that every single time with Cam Chancellor. Everybody runs that double in sale in the end zone. It's too easy to guard now. I said what's going through my mind right now is if I score this one's literally over so I'm going as quickly as possible I don't know why my mouse keeps on clicking but you'll see we have the bomb wide open Calvin Johnson baby and we're gonna go backwards to try to chew the rest of this clock out we don't want to give him any time all right so you'll see third and four I'm okay with scoring here we're gonna actually throw a very risky ball right over his user's head in Kyle Pitts brand new Kyle Pitts is gonna secure a touchdown right there and like I said this one's basically GG's. We also go for a cherry on top to take a 25 point, not lead, but 25 points total right here. Absolutely dominating. And you'll see right here, quick, quick, easy dot. And yes, I didn't get to like show you guys, but he did end up getting three to end off the half. Nine to 25. Let's go see if we can stop him. He does get ball at half, so not the best case scenario for us. But if we get a stop again, this one's literally just over. Here we go. First and 10. He's going to roll out and you can see Lawrence Taylor. Oh, he over pursued. But this guy's going to throw across the line of scrimmage anyways. I think he got intentional or yeah, he had a legal forward pass and that would have been um, a legal touching as well. So two penalties right there. But looking, he's going back to that spread, which we are completely OK with him going into. We've been bagging all game with his only touchdown. He chucked it right at Deion Sanders and literally just got a lucky play. And look at Chase Young getting to the QB. Here we go, third and 14. You guys will see I go to that D-line user and we're gonna get all the way through. I think if Chandler Jones didn't get there so fast, we definitely were getting that sack. And fourth and 22, we're going back to that D-line user. We're gonna keep that pressure going. We have everybody going all the way back to the line of, or the, the first down marker. And it looks like a little bit of pressure off the edge right here from everybody coming through. And that looks like it's gonna be the game right there. I think he ends up quitting after this one. Yes, he does. GG's boys, that was way too easy for us right there on defense. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, it sucks. I hate doing the post comments here. I felt like I recorded pretty fairly nicely there, but yeah, I don't know what happened to my mic. I think when, like with the Elgato mics, once you click the top of them, it goes right and that means it's muted. Don't know how I didn't notice it's muted, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments, are you picking up Lawrence Taylor? I do think he is the best defensive player in the game. And yes, he's expensive, but it is Lawrence Taylor. He's going to be on your team for the rest of the year anyways. Might as well go scoop him up. But anyways, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.